Hello, my name is Felix Okeke. I am your marriage counselor and coach, and I'm also the host of this channel, Marriage with Actias channel. It's my pleasure to be in your midst tonight. But uh, tonight is a night with a difference because we are not going to be talking about building or managing marriages or families today. We are going to be dwelling on an issue, a topical concern of the entire earth today, the issue of coronavirus or what we may call COVID-19. It is a threat to mankind. It's like a spirit of death that has been sent to take away mankind. And all over the whole earth, today Italy has lost close to 10,000 people. Today in US, there is weeping all over the whole land. Even in Spain, the hostiles are already overrun. And uh, uh, the, the threat to mankind is enormous. It is what we are going to be discussing today. Coronavirus. And the topic is face to face with death. Priorities are changed. Once again, my name is Felix Okeke. I'm your marriage counselor and coach. If you have not had the privilege of um, subscribing to this channel, I want you to do so even right now. There's a red button by my side. Uh, touch that red button. Get subscribed so that other subsequent uh, productions will come to you with ease. It is my pleasure to welcome you once again. Uh, I said face to face with death, priorities are changed uh, because all over the whole earth today, uh, we are beginning to know who is courageous, who is fearless, and who is faint hearted, or those who have lost their courage. We are beginning to see people who will emerge from this all as champions and as leaders. And I want to let you know that leaders are required right now. People that are able to motivate others, to encourage others, people that are able to stand in the gap for others. I understand that churches are getting closed worldwide. I understand there is a lockdown in several cities of the earth. But wherever you are right now, even in your room, please just be on your knees and intercede for the rest of mankind. This is an, not a time to win. This is not a time to lose your faith. This is actually a time to stand up and know that the God you believe in is able to answer even in the worst of circumstances. These are times when a man must come out and pick up his wife and encourage her to become the best that she can be. This is a time for a woman to look at her household, not with pity, not with discouragement, but looking up to God to preserve her household. And if you have suffered death at this time, I want you to know that death is not the worst thing that can happen to any man. The worst thing that can happen to any man is dying without knowing God. If you know the Lord and you are met with death because of this virus, I want you to know that where you are going to is a better place. I want you to know that whom you are going to meet there is a better, is a better environment altogether. So it's not a time to weep. It's not a time to whimper. It is rather a time to smile. You can smile at that. You can really smile at that. And for some of us who, uh, who don't have it yet, who have tested negative, please don't look at those who have tested positive as if they are unfortunate human beings. No, they are not unfortunate. It is just what befall them. They are not unfortunate. It is just what they found themselves contending with. And I want you to know that he who tested negative today can be positive tomorrow. So put yourself as an intercessor for them. Begin to intercede for them. Begin to do whatever is necessary to see them come up uh, or even become healed. There was a time when we had HIV and uh, it was thought as if it was the worst thing that can ever happen to man. But today, people who are carriers of the AIDS virus are living very convenient lives. There are also times when we had the Ebola and it was thought as if the rest of mankind was about to perish. But here we are. I want to let you know that we can overcome this. We can overcome this. Wherever you are right now and you're experiencing a lockdown in your city, I want you to look internally and pick up one or two things to do with your time. This is not a time to just lazy about. You can read a whole book as at this time. You can study a course online at this time. You can encourage one another at this time. You can mend fences in your marriages at this time. If for whatever reason your spouse usually go out in the morning, he doesn't come back until late in the night, 
this time around, both of you are together. This is an opportunity to remedy some of those areas of your marital life which has been endangered. This is also a time to call your children to order. They have been moving about, doing all manner of things because the parents are not there. This is the time to become a worthy father or a worthy mother indeed. This is the time to sit closely with your family. See where your children are failing. See the areas of their lapses and see what you can do within this time. The lockdown, I may tell you, is not totally negative. It reminds me of two missionaries who traveled to a village in China. And when they got there, they discovered that the villagers were not wearing shoes. They were walking barefooted all over the whole place. At night, there was mosquito everywhere. At night, it was full of darkness, no electricity anywhere. As a matter of fact, at the end of their sojourn in that village, these two missionaries came out. They had different impressions. The first one said, I will never go back to that place again. It is a useless village. I can't step my feet there again uh, over my dead body. But the second one said, wow, this is an opportunity, a great opportunity. The next time I'm going there, I will go with a truckload of sandals. When I go there again, I will buy a truckload of torches. But the next time I go there, I will go with insecticides. I will go with mosquito nets. This is a tremendous opportunity to impact the place. You see two people who experience the same thing, and yet they had different understanding of the issue. It can happen to you even at this time. Many people look at this lockdown in different cities as if it is the end of the world. No, it is not the end. It is actually an opportunity which you can utilize for a good end, I tell you. So please, wherever you are right now, mothers, fathers, children, wherever you are, I want you to use this opportunity to encourage one another. I want you to use this opportunity to be the best you can be. If you hear that the neighbor has this virus, please intercede earnestly. And if by whatever reason you lose that neighbor, please, it is not the end of the world. It is not a time to tear. It is not, it's not a time for tears. It is time to appreciate God for the life such an individual have lived. I, I must also send a word of consolation to my friends in Italy who are battling it seriously. Like I said earlier, Italy have already lost more than 10,000 people. It's not a small number. And also people in Spain and the, the, my folks in China, in Indonesia, in Malaysia, in, in, in Hong Kong right now, uh, we have all manner of things happening in Singapore. There are also friends of ours who are in U.S. I understand so many U.S. cities are already experiencing this lockdown. Please, I want you to encourage one another. Encourage one another. Uh, at the end of it all, may God give us the fortitude to bear our losses. But at the end of it all also, I want you to become the best you can ever be. Come out of this situation stronger than ever. Come out of this situation better than ever. Come out of this situation more enriched than ever before. May God bless you. Please look at that red button by my side. Click on it and subscribe to this very, very particular channel. It is a great channel indeed, and it is always an honor and a privilege for me to be in your midst. Thank you very, very much. Thank you very, very much, and God bless you indeed. Thank you.